Hello, Mima here. I've been getting a lot of questions and requests about alternate watch, so I thought I'd put together a more comprehensive guide than my anomaly videos and Twitch streams. And just a fair warning, this is a guide to the original version of the game, not the recent 5 underscore 1 update. Alternate Watch is an analog horror series by Tesseron that's based off of the mechanics in the game I'm on Observation Duty and the lore in the web series The Mandela Catalog. The single level game can be downloaded for free at Tesseron's itch.io page, which I've linked in the description. Just like in Observation Duty, your goal is to report anomalies in different rooms from midnight until the end of your shift at 6am. If too many anomalies are present or there's a relatively pressing anomaly, you lose the game. The amount of anomalies present can be gauged by the threat level at the top left of your screen. A vague threat level means you may have none or maybe one or two anomalies, whereas the evident threat level means you have a couple of anomalies or a very pressing anomaly, like a pure form. There are eight rooms in total in this game, the kitchen, living room, laundry room, kids room, bedroom, bathroom, basement, and stairway. And unlike in Observation Duty, none of the room cameras will disappear beyond an electrical malfunction. Tesseron provides a quick guide to each anomaly in the main menu screen, though some of these descriptions are a little deceiving. I'll be going over each type of anomaly in more detail and providing some examples of common spawns of that anomaly. Imagery is described as paintings, artwork, and pictures changing, and that's really all it is. The portraits might change entirely or subtly in details such as the background or human faces. Their spawn locations are limited to the portraits in the map, so they're pretty easy to detect and report. Displacement also has a pretty accurate description, objects changing locations. This anomaly usually manifests in smaller objects like the lotion bottles, cutlery, cassettes, um, but can also manifest in larger furniture like the chair in the basement or the seat in the bedroom. The displacement spawn is most often limited to the room where the object belongs, but in cases such as Adam's apple in the basement or the living room plant, the displacement anomaly might spawn in a different room. In this case, you can report the anomaly either in the original or the new room. Mimic is probably the vaguest anomaly, described as a duplicate object or an object attempting to blend in. This spawn is limited to the room of the original object the anomaly is attempting to duplicate or blend in with, and I would say it's probably the most common anomaly that I come across when playing. Flawed or flawed impersonator is a distorted human presence. It manifests in a human-like form, but always has at least one major flaw in replicating a human, like longer limbs, missing whole halves of its head, or moving erratically. This anomaly spawn is limited to the room that it's present in, but you may be hinted at its presence through open doors visible in other rooms, presumably doors they open to break in. Pure forms are absolutely wonderful shadow figures with white eyes. They hide somewhere in the room until you swap to the room's camera again, then jump out to obscure your vision. If you wait too long to report them, you will lose that room's camera entirely and potentially lose the game. They are limited to the room they spawn in, though I believe they can spawn in any room on the map. Intruder is one of the most difficult anomalies to report, just because they're so good at hiding on the map. An intruder is described as a cloaked figure obscured and whispering. Aside from electrical, this is the only other anomaly that can be detected auditorily. You are able to hear its whispering from anywhere on the map, but it should be loudest in the room that it's spawned in. The only spawns I'm aware of are the bedroom and living room spawns, though I have been told that it might be able to spawn at the bottom of the stairway as well. Electrical is described as televisions, radio, and lights, though it can also be the camera. The televisions may turn on, you might hear something on the radio, the lights might flicker, but you may also get a blue error code on the camera, separate from the red one from a pure form destroying the camera. You can usually detect the television and radio from the noise it makes anywhere on the map, though the spawn is limited to the room those devices are present in. The Tulpa anomaly is one of my personal favorites to come across, and can only be seen in a mirror. There's only one spawn that the community is aware of right now in the bathroom, just a dapper guy, you know, checking himself out in the mirror, nothing more. Corpse is not in the game. I get a lot of questions about Corpse, but honestly I have no idea what's up with it. 
On their Itch.io page, Tesseron states that the game has been released in an unpolished slash semi-unfinished state and mentions that the game can be completed but lacks certain content and features originally planned. So my theory is that they originally intended to include a corpse anomaly, similar to the corpse in Observation Duty, but didn't have the time or energy to incorporate it into the game. Unknown is described as an anomaly that cannot be classified, and it's just that. The only unknown spawns I've yet to come across have been the door opening anomaly and the outside world in the kids' room, so beyond that I'm pretty clueless. Since it's last on the list, perhaps this is another anomaly that Tesseron was originally aiming to expand upon. And that's a pretty solid rundown of the game and its mechanics. If you guys are interested in hearing a little bit more about the game's lore and easter eggs, let me know and I might make another video dedicated to just that. And if you'd like to see me play Alternate Watch, Observation Duty, Phasmophobia, and other horror games live, then follow my Twitch. And thank you so much for watching!